This is a bladeless fan. Cannot see the blades from the outside but can blow the wind. And the price is also very expensive. So where does the wind come from? Let's see what black technology it uses. We usually use the ordinary fan. It's composed of multiple fan blades. And you will find that the blades are not flat. But with the curved surface. When the fan rotates. This shape can cut the air near the blades. And push it forward. Thus constantly bringing us a cool breeze. As part of the air is pushed away by the fan blades. The air behind the fan. Will be continuously sucked into the fan. This is the working principle of the ordinary fan. In fact. A bladeless fan does not really have no blades. Its blades are hidden in the bottom of the fan. The air is blown out from the gaps around the fan. That is, the small hole at the bottom is sucked in. The basic principle of a fluid-free fan is to use the coanda effect in fluid dynamics to amplify the airflow. The so-called coanda effect, simply put, is that the fluid always tends to flow along the ground. When the ground is bent, the fluid will deviate from its original direction of motion. A motor is installed in the base of a bladeless electric fan. The impeller rotates and draws the air inside. Then it is pushed upwards. The cyclone gas pedal also acts as a pressurizer. And then discharged through the nozzle exhaust port. The round exhaust port is also a good idea. From the cross section, it looks like the wing of an airplane. Using the principle of Burr's effort. It is equivalent to amplify the air and then accelerate and blow out. Because the air is forced to blow out of this small ring-shaped mouth. The wind speed can reach up to 35 kilometers per hour. The design in this form. Because there is no fan blade to cut the air. The user does not feel the impact in stages. Rather, it is a continuous flow of air. It will feel cooler. This fan is not outside the blade. So the shape is very cool. It is also very easy to clean. Safety is also improved. But compared to traditional fans, noise may be more expensive and more expensive, and the conversion efficiency is also lower than traditional fans. This means that if the same amount of air is produced, liquid-free fans consume more power, whether it is a traditional fan or a liquid-free fan. When it's really hot, air conditioning is more powerful.